Hello everyone, welcome back to Arpita's Tech Corner. Today we are going to learn about card view, multi-row card view and KPI view. Okay, and if you need this working file, please check the description section where I am going to provide you the GitHub link and from that link you can download this working file. Okay, so before proceeding with some practical example, let us understand the purpose of this visualization. First is card view. To view or highlight the number, for example, total sales, profit, number of employee, etc. So the most important thing which you want to track for that purpose, we are going to use this card view. For example, if you have some requirement to create one CEO dashboard or any CFO dashboard, so where you want to show the performance of the company, so there we can use this card view. Okay. What is multi-row card? So it will display the data in a group format. That means it is another type of card view, but where you can display multiple information in a group format. Another is KPI. What is the full form this KPI? Key Performance Indicator. So this key performance indicator communicates the amount of progress made towards a measurable goal. Okay. For example, if you want to show the comparison between the target and the actual, there we can use this type of visualization. For example, when to use a KPI? KPIs are a great choice to measure progress, answer the question like what am I ahead or behind on, to measure distance to a goal, answer the question how far ahead or behind am I. So I found this definition from this our Microsoft online portal help. Now we are going to create some table with some dummy data. Before that, I'm just going to create a new page. Open this enter data. And I'm going to give some name here. For example, giving another name, gross margin value. And this is gross margin target. Okay, so I have copied some value and paste it here. Okay, let me give some name. For example, profit sales table. Okay, now load this table. So our table is ready. Just expand the table. Okay, let me change this summarization for year. So I have changed the Summarization for year, okay, from sum to don't summarize. Okay, so I have these three values. Just create one simple table. So I have created one simple table to check the values. Okay, now we are going to start with this card view. Just select this card view and you can find out we can put some data field here. For example, I'm going to select this value measure here. So here you can find out it is displaying the total value. Let us see the formatting section. If you click on this, here you can find out this call out values where you can change the font, everything. For example, I'm just giving as 30 and it will decrease the size. Also, you can change the display unit and the decimal places and the category level where you can change the, for example, I'm giving 20 and it will increase the size of this level. Similar way, just go to the general and these are all some general formatting options. Normally, we have already seen for the other visualization area, properties, title, effect, etc. Okay, so this card view has been created. Now we are going to create one multi-row card. Okay, 
here also you can find out only this field sections are available and where we can add some fields here just select this values and this target okay so these two values are displaying side by side now if you want to select this year also just select this one and you can observe just put this year little bit up and the data is displaying like this if you want you can change this formatting also just go to this format visual and this category labels are similar to this card view call out values are the similar only changes here we have another option which is called cards okay let me add some background if you want you can add some top border left bottom right so this type of border position you can add okay now uh, if you have some doubt maybe okay this card view also have this field section and this multi row card is also this field section now if we are going to add something is this card view means another measure then what will happen just select this measure and try to drop here see you cannot add the multiple one for here we just need to remove that one and we can add this value again now you can understand what is the difference between this card view and multi row card view okay let's time for kpi view if i am going to select this kpi view just select that one okay here you can get value trend axis and the target value so start with the value just select this one trend axis i'm selecting year and the target value selecting this field now in this view you can observe we have selected all the three columns trend axis means based on which this graph will be displayed this trend axis okay this trend information and this is our values and this is our target but what exactly it's displaying it's displaying the latest information which is for 2017 and it's displaying the va actual value 900 and the goal is 1100 which is for the target value so it is not achieving the target and its difference is minus 18.18% that's why it is displaying in a red color let us see another example just click on this kpi views and in the similar way i am selecting all the field now i am going to select this year column and this target column okay it's displaying the same thing just let me add one filter condition from here for example 2015 you can see we can get this positive value that means for 2015 our value was 1300 and target is 1200 so that means it already uh, above the target value that's why it's giving this plus 8.33 percentage okay so in this way you can create this kpi view and you can use this kpi view whenever you want to display some comparison between the current value and the target value just uh, let me see that format of this visual here you can have this call out values icon trend axis if it is in a positive order then it will be green then yellow and the red color click on this target level here you can change this values formatting as well as you can change the level okay so from this examples you can understand the card view multi row card and kpi view and you can understand in which all the areas you can use this type of visualizations and if you need this working file please check the description section there you can find out the github link if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you
Thanks for watching.